Hello everyone, welcome to our next SideWorks video where we're going to be going over kind of base station connection, rover connection, and project calibration. So last time we created, created a job, created a work order, and we loaded up a new design. So today we're going to take that project that we created and we're going to kind of do the next steps. So I'm now on my data collector, so hopefully you can see where I'm touching on screen. Um, so we do have the Tyler's House project that we created last time. We made a new work order that we named our calibration and we added a new model that is grading on October 24th, 2019. The reason we gave it a date in case we have any revisions or updates that are made and we have to load in new files so that we can always know what our newest version is. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept and we're going to load everything up. And the next step it's going to take us to is our receiver setup screen. So while we wait, we can go ahead and talk about our base station setup. So I do have my base station set on a post, kind of in my backyard. We'll go ahead and take a look at that, kind of see what we have set up. Turn on my camera right here. And we can see that there is my base station setup. So we've got our white antenna setting on the post right here. Screw that on, just kind of hanging our yellow SPS 855 with our radio antenna hooked up to it. Yellow cable connects us to the satellite. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off, go back into SightWorks. And now we are in our receiver setup. So we're just going to kind of click through this. Being the first day on the job, every day you have first day, every time you're on a new job, you want to connect to your base station kind of tell it where it needs to be, what it's doing, what it is. Do that the first time and then we shouldn't have to do that anymore. So we connect to our base. How are we connecting from the data collector to the yellow box? We're going to do Bluetooth. Every time I connect to these receivers I always tap my Bluetooth button on the right over here and let it search for devices. So we can see it's already picked up our rover which I turned on a little while ago also. We're waiting for the SPS 855 to pop up. You can see over here on the left we have our model name followed by the serial number, which in our case is the 5842 for the SPS 986. And then we can see who the owner of that device is, either Trimble or SciTech South. So our SPS 855 did pop up. If you look on the bottom side of the device, you'll see the serial number. But we want to highlight, tap, highlight that SPS 855 and then click OK to connect to it. And it may take a minute to connect and you may see that add a device pop up come up at the bottom right. But we know it's connected once we see our correction method. And this is we're telling the receiver how it's going to communicate with the rover or the machines and we know that we're going to use radio. That's why we have our radio antenna hooked up. Now we're going to tell it what network it's going to communicate over. And for our sake today, we are going to choose 25. And 25 is what you're going to want to have all of your machines and rovers set on out in the field. 25 from here on out. Base position. This one is important. This is where we're telling our base station where it's going to be on the job. If you've got it mounted on a post in a random location on your job, you are always going to choose unknown position. And then you're going to give your base a name and you want to use some kind of identifier for your job. So I'm going to say, I'm going to name it house and then just, I would do your company name so I'm just going to say Tyler after that and now I'm going to see my base name as house dash Tyler and I'm going to hit OK. Antenna, that is the white zephyr in our base. It's whatever you have mounted on top of your pole. Trimble has all these different options for what kind of zephyrs, you can, what kind of antennas you can use, not zephyrs. So in our case, it's usually on the bottom, it has the model name of it. In our case, if we were to look on the bottom of our antenna, we would see that we have a Zephyr 3 base. So measure method. This is also very critical. If you have it on a post, you're always going to set it to zero. Why is that? 
it's basically where is your control point. So on our posts, when we get done with our site calibration, we're going to save a new control point. And we know that control point, I'm going to go back and turn on my camera real quick. We know that that control point is going to be right here at the top of our post. Hopefully everyone can see. At the top of our post. So we're going to set that to zero. In a future video, we'll go over setting your base station up on a tripod. But just for now, we're going to set our antenna height to zero feet. On a post, set it to zero. Go ahead and hit accept. And our corrections are going to be CMRX. So we're never going to change that when we're using a Trimble base station. So we're going to hit accept here, and it's going to give us some info. It's going to give us the latitude, longitude, and height of our base. Our base name being Tyler, which you can see right there where I'm clicking. Latitude, longitude, and height. Radio channel. Our vertical height of our antenna is zero. So we're all we're happy with all that. We're going to hit OK, and then it's going to disconnect from our base station. Disconnecting. All right, so now once we've done that, we can see SiteWorks. I've just got a little building pad designed in the back here. The black triangles are our control points. Now we want to connect to our rover. So a couple things about Trimble SiteWorks. We've got our couple panels here that we can see where I'm clicking. Info bar at the top. Battery at the top right. We can see we're in measure mode. At the top left of our screen, we have our menu. I'm just going to click on that, open up our menu. Project setup is where a lot of our project changes, overall project changes, if we wanted to pick a new design, pick a new project, or in our case, connect to a device. So we want to connect to our rover now. So GNSS or GPS, that's what we're going to click on. We're going to choose our rover. Once again, how are we connecting our data collector to our actual rover. That connection is going to happen over Bluetooth. I'm going to tap my